Hello everyone. Today I would like to talk about how does ARP works in a single IP subnet network environment. First of all, what is ARP? ARP basically is an address resolution protocol better known as ARP. It's a very common traffic on today's computer network. Each computer including switches and routers maintain an ARP cache. This ARP cache can contain a list of unique MAC addresses mapped to a specific IP IP addresses. This table or cache is populated as the computer requests information from other computers on the same subnet. Second, alright, why, why is it important? Network engineers would argue that living a life without the address resolution protocol will be like living a life without oxygen. Is that essential? Even though a machine may be assigned an IP address statically or via THCP, other computers on the subnet won't be aware of which machine currently has a certain IP address. In a network, which IP address are randomly handed out to a different machine via THCP, there is no telling who has what IP address. In order to successfully transfer tra traffic, one must know the specific IP address of a certain machine so that the packet can be effectively routed to the right location. The router at the right location can then forward the packet based on its RIP table to the computer in the network with the MAC address that matches the IP address specifically by the standards. ARP reply and request enable computers on the same subnet to communicate with each other and share their IP information with each other. ARP works at layer 2 of the OSI model and therefore is not relying on the IP which operate at layer 3. This is important because it is the reason why ARP requests are broadcasted throughout the subnet instead of being sent directly to a computer with a specific IP address. What happened actually? The first computer on a subnet with the IP address of 200.1.1.1 might ask who has the IP address of 200.1.1.2 because they have a packet of information that needs to be routed to them. However, when the machine with the IP address of 200.1.1.2 receives the broadcasted request, it then transmits back with an ARP reply with a MAC address of BBB. This is how ARP works. Last but not least, I will give you guys a tutorial on how ARP works. I will give you guys a demo by using Cisco Packet Tracer. First, we add two PCs, second PCs, and a switch. After that, we connect through a cable, through a cable, and the first PC will set it as for the IP address as 200.0.0.0.1. And the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0 And the default gateway will be 200.0.0.254 And the second PC will be the same as but default IP of 200.0.0.2 And the subnet mask will be the same And the same goes to default gateway 200.0.0.254 after that, to check whether it's ARP or not, we will go to the command prompt. Command prompt. And we will be typed as ARP dash A. It is known that there is no result. To solve this, we ping for the second PC 200.0.0.2. And this is the ping. After the successful ping, we type ARP dash A. And here's the result of the second PC. Here's the IP and here's the MAC. And that's all for today. Thank you very much.